So we got this DM at Ben and Kelly show here on 99.7 DJX from our listener, Sarah, without the H. Hi, guys. First of all, I must say that I've been a fan of your show for years now. Aw. You both keep me company on my long commute to work every morning. Thank you. That's sweet. Got a question for you. I'm 34, single. I've started noticing a few gray hairs coming in. All right. So at first, I was thinking of just getting some color to put in, but lately I've been seeing many women who have colored their hair all gray, Mm -hmm. and I think it looks stunning. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I'm single, and I'm afraid men don't find gray hair very sexy. Mm. They think of you as old. Mm. So I'd love to hear your opinions on gray hair on a woman from both your women and your guy listeners. Wow. Thanks so much. That's interesting. Uh, Ashley rolls in on text and says, I hate how people associate age with gray or silver hair. My mom started going gray at 25. Her hair is gorgeous, and I wish I could pull it off at 29. Okay, so she, oh, that's that's bringing up a point, though. I'm not necessarily sure that everyone can pull off every hair color. And so you, you have to kind of think, all right, is that going to wash you out? Like, do you have the kind of skin tone that's going to have that kind of skin, that hair color wash you out a little bit? Or is it going to complement your skin tone? I mean, I have, I I know uh, there's friends of the family uh, who, again, like Ashley's mom, she went gray very early. And then her daughter, who's like our age, Mm -hmm. uh, she also has gone gray pretty early as well. And so, uh, and it is funny because I have also seen like what she's talking about, what Sarah without the H is talking about. And the fact that it's uh, that p- people are dying their hair gray. Yes, yeah. gray and with almost like a violet hue, like an almost like <clears throat> a really light lilac like tone to it. I've seen that. Oh, like almost kind of like a purpley. Very subtle, but yes, like a tinge. Uh, hey, Wendy. So my advice to her would be to keep the gray hair. If she wants to have gray hair and she enjoys it and likes it and wants to experiment. That's uh-huh. fine. She could uh-huh. always dye her hair another time. Okay. However, with going gray, it's going to help help her better assess what guys are really into her for her mm. versus guys that just are looking for a specific aesthetic. Mm. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. So if it's like, hey, you know what? I <sighs> Is hair that big of a deal? Well, I don't know. Like when you were dating, did you tend to gravitate towards one particular hair color or not? Like I didn't. I dated the blondes. I dated brunettes. Really didn't matter. I was like a sucker for a handsome face. Yeah, kind of me too. I was a sucker for a handsome face. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Your wife's no. a lucky woman. <laughs> yeah, right. I got uh, a handsome lady. Uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't really. I didn't have a hair color specific like, oh, I only want to date blondes or I only want to date brunettes or uh, people with black hair or whatever. Um, But I will say that I know me personally, I I mean, hair was kind of a big deal in the sense that I would shave like my back and my shoulders Mm -hmm. (laughs) like I'd get little like, you know, stuff. Growing and I because you thought that's what your your wife preferred, and then or, you found out she didn't or really even, care. Or even before, like I started dating my wife, I you know I I did that because because yes, like you said, I thought that oh, women only want a guy with smooth everything, so uh, I'm going to try to do that. So I mean, I get kind of wanting to just make sure that you are putting out what you think the world wants, right? What yeah. you think is going to be attractive to guys, especially if you are on the dating scene and that's, yeah. you know, you're looking to catch someone's eye. All right. Have a, have a couple other calls I want to get to. But then also I want to tell you a funny story uh, that my great aunt said. And I think I've said it on the show before, but it's been a long time um, about graying hair and all that. It's kind of a, a funny little anecdote. Uh, gray hair. Uh, you dyeing your hair gray to look that way. Uh, Sarah, without the H, she's like, hey, what's your thought on gray hair? I'm starting to go a little gray, but I'm also seeing a lot of trends of people dyeing their hair to look uh, like that. Hey, Dave. Gray on purpose, yeah. yeah. Everybody's attracted to something different, but your hair color is not it. 
If it's mm. gray, I'm sure you're just as beautiful with the gray hair as you are with blonde or brunette. Yeah, there you go. That that was kind of what I was saying earlier too. Is you know from a guy's perspective, hey, you know what? We're easy. Doesn't matter. You're cute. You're cute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, I mean, we're we're simple people. You know. Stephanie says, I'm 38 and I cover the gray hair free frequently. I never understood that trend. I want to look young. I think that uh, the younger girls are the ones that want to look older. So my great aunt, she had, uh, she was a brunette for the longest time. Brunette, brunette, brunette until the day she died. Um, she was uh, getting ready and my cousin was getting ready with her. And she leans over and whispers to my cousin, you know, I dye my hair. And my great aunt is like 96 at this time. <laughs> Bless her heart like they didn't. That, that, right. that was the best kept secret. Right, exactly. No and, one knew. And my cousin was like, really? Oh, she played along. <laughs> she That's did. great. Absolutely she That's did. Great. Absolutely she did. No She's like, way. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's insane. That's awesome. I know. Hey, Tony. Okay, so I'm married for five years. All right. My wife is a brunette, right. and we're in our early 30s, and I point out every gray hair that I see <laughs> because I love it. I oh. can't wait till she's all gray. I don't know. I'm like in my mid-30s, but like I love gray and silver hair. Okay. This is the first time I'm saying it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. All right. Thank you, Tony. Well, you know what? There's kind of a, a romance behind that. Like, that's a sign that we're growing old together. Yeah. If, if it's with your partner, that's, yes. that's I think, one thing. And, and Sarah's single, though. And that's that's right. part of the thing that's kind of got so her worried. She was wondering, like, are guys still going to be attracted to me if I choose to go the gray route? Yeah. I, I And you know what, Sarah? I'm just going to go ahead and try to put your, your worries at ease and just say, hey, you know what? If a guy thinks you're cute, he's going to think you're cute. Exactly. Like, like I, I don't think, I don't think the the gray hair is going to turn him off. So, no, exactly. I so think whatever you, you decide you choose to, do. to go, just go all in. Yep. And yeah, and live with it for a little bit. If you don't like it, you can always change it. That's the thing about hair. Absolutely. Color. All right. So yeah. So whatever you decide to do, just do it. And uh, and yeah, it, you, you'll 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 look good. You'll look good.